The three other hoardings near the collapsed hoarding have been demolished now. This comes as questions remain over the role of the BMC as the absconding owner of the hoarding was fined 21 times in the past for illegal hoardings. That is the piece of breaking news that's coming in. So that is some level of action being taken by the BMC on the ground in the wake of the Ghat Kupar tragedy, which has claimed 14 lives. I'm joined by my colleague Yasha Kotak on the broadcast. Yasha, over to you. Give us the details. Uh, so yes, this in, uh, this entire development comes in just as uh, an illegal holding collapse yesterday on uh, the petrol pump at Ghatkopar, leading to loss of 14 lives and le leaving 75 people injured in this case. Now here, following this instance, there were questions that were raised on illegal holdings. Because uh, not only this, but the adjoining holdings, there were three more such holdings uh, which were very close to the holding which collapsed. In fact, some of them were weak and uh, or would have uh, would have collapsed if the wind uh, would have been higher uh, like yesterday. Uh, but uh, the three more holdings which still stand, a notice was issued by the disaster management of uh, BMC asking the relevant authorities uh, to remove these holdings. However, uh, there was uh, there was a 10-day time that was given uh, for the holdings to be removed. The structure of the holding, uh, the metal pillar that uh, still stands now, but uh, the advertisements that have been put up on these holdings were removed by BMC today. In fact, this was something that uh, BMC has taken cognizance of and has tweeted, uh, saying that um, considering this illegal, the holdings have been illegal, which is why they are taking this very action. And uh, they've mentioned about this on their tweet. Now, this comes in, uh, just as there have been questions that have been raised on illegal holdings, and there's been a blame game uh, between various uh, government agencies regarding who actually was the, uh, was the authority in giving permission uh, to these holdings. Yes. Absolutely. The BMC has a lot to answer for. Yasha, please stay with us because we're getting another piece of breaking news which is coming in from the maximum city where the Mumbai police has registered an FIR over a scaffolding collapse that took place in Vadala. This was the same day as the Ghat Koper tragedy, ladies and gentlemen. Those visuals on your screen, you can see how amid the heavy rains and the dust storm, that scaffolding just collapsed. The scaffolding Ladies and gentlemen, went down during the dust storm, as I was pointing out. Three people were injured and 18 vehicles were damaged in the crash. Yesha continues to be with us on the broadcast. Yesha, we can see those visuals on our screen during the dust storm. That entire scaffolding collapsed. As per the details, three people were injured and 18 vehicles were damaged. The police have now registered an FIR. Give us more details. Uh, yes, uh, this case, in fact, uh, uh, pertained to uh, to this very metal structure, which was at Vadala. Uh, it, this was just like you've mentioned yesterday, when uh, uh, when because of uh, the dust storm, there was this uh, holding which collapsed. Similarly, in Vadala, uh, this scaffolding, the metal structure had collapsed, uh, wherein uh, there were three people who were injured. One person was trapped in the car and under the steel structure, and two people were injured. All of uh, them are in. Uh, safe condition and they uh, they were taken to the hospital. Uh, the, uh, the rescue operation was done uh, immediately on Monday evening itself. Uh, but following which, uh, 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 because there was in, there was injuries to these people and uh, there were 18 uh, cars which were damaged, so, which is where Mumbai police had uh, mentioned that they'd be taking legal action and taking cognizance of uh, this uh, very case as well, which is where an FIR has been registered now at uh, Vadala and this FIR has been registered against uh, uh, against an unknown people as of now and uh, the sections under this FIR are about endanger endangering lives of uh, people. Now this uh, particular instance even comes in just as we've seen that in the Ghatkopar instance as well there's an FIR that has been registered against uh, uh, the the own uh, the uh, the e holding, holding owner which means uh, the ego media. Similarly in case of Vadala uh, the building contractor has been uh, named for uh, for the the middle structure that was present at Vadala. Yes. Right. Thank you, Yesha, for getting us that piece of breaking news. Those visuals on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, you can see how that scaffolding collapsed. This is the same day as the Ghat Kopar tragedy. So many questions before the BMC when it comes to the infrastructure in the maximum city. Now, while the owner in the Ghat Kopar case is still absconding, the police have registered an FIR in this case. Investigation is underway, but the question remains, will accountability be fixed? But we are getting some more breaking news. This is from the state of Karnataka now.